Hello, my name is Bracken Jones. Today I'm coming to you from Dragon Products Pub Shop in Liberty, Texas. In this segment, we'll be changing a mechanical seal in a Dragon 250 centrifugal pump. At this stage, we've already removed our power in from your skid, and you're ready to start the process of changing your seal. The first thing we're going to do is remove our reverse thread impeller bolt, then our impeller, and then our stuffing box so we can swap our seal out. Let's start with removing the reverse thread bolt. This bolt is here so that if this pump's rigged up on, say, electric motor and it's wired backwards, the bolt won't let the impeller unspool. Let's go ahead and take the bolt loose. All right, now that we have our bolt off, we're going to proceed with removing our impeller. I have here a Dragon impeller wrench. We're going to place it on our shaft to hold it still. I'm going to rotate it to the top, slam it loose. Now for some of you guys, you'll take the impeller off with the pump still attached to the motor. And that's fine. If you do that, instead of using your impeller wrench, you would just put a pipe wrench here, or maybe a pipe wrench here, and then you would use a wooden block and a hammer and tap it off this way. Okay, we now have our impeller. Now we're ready to go ahead and take our stuffing box out. So we'll push our impeller over out of the way. We'll proceed to pull the stuffing box out. On the Dragon pump, we have one three-quarter inch bolt right here that holds the stuffing box into place. And this is just your basic three-quarter inch bolt. Now that we have that off, I'm going to rotate it back around. I'm going to use a punch and a four-pound hammer to start the process of the stuffing box coming out of the back of the pump. Once you have a slight gap in your stuffing box, you can then take your wedges and pull it out the back. Once it's free, we'll remove the stuffing box from the power end. Your shaft sleeve and the other side of your mechanical seal should come with it. We'll now lay the stuffing box on its face. And proceed to remove the packing and the packing gland. These are both basic 916s. Lay these out of our way. Take our packing gland off. We'll then take a pick or a small screwdriver and pull our packing out of the pot. First piece. Second piece. Some pumps will have three. This one only has two. We'll wipe off some of our residue. Now, 
we will continue with knocking our stationary out of the face of the pump. What I mean by that, if you look here, you have the front of your mechanical seal, and we're going to push it out of the front using a small punch and a hammer. Now you will most likely break the stationary while I'm doing this, but that's okay because we're changing the mechanical seal anyway. That's the purpose of what we're doing. If you have it broke loose, you'll turn it back over. Finish pulling the seal out. Now we have an empty stuffing box. We're going to take our rag, clean it up nice, make sure we get all the residue out of there. Also we'll use our pick. And then on some of your used units, you'll know they notice they have quite a bit of rust in them or some mud buildup or something like that. You might take a piece of emery cloth and go through the process of buffing it down real good, get it back to a nice smooth surface before we go back in with our new mechanical seal. This is the most important part when you're changing your seal, is taking care of the stuffing box and making sure your faces stay clean. The oil from your fingers or dust that could be in the shop or anything like that, if they get between the two faces, your seal will not seal off and your pump will continue to leak. Now on our dragging stuffing box, we have a slight pin in here. That's where the notch of your stationary will go. Not all pumps have it. It's not a big deal if they do or don't. It's just something that we have on ours. We'll now remove our mechanical seal that we got from one of our dragging service centers and get the stationary. The stationary is always wrapped in a nice clean rag. This is for the purpose of cleaning your faces after you install them and before you put the new one together. Here's our new mechanical seal. You'll see the notch here on the back. This side goes down. The shiny side goes up. We're going to take a little bit of grease. And we're going to start by going around the bottom O-ring on the stationary mechanical, mechanical seal. Once we went all the way around it, we're going to go back and remove any grease we might have gotten on the face. We'll now press this into the stationary stuffing box, lining our notch up with the pin. There are several ways to do this, but what I tend to do is take the handle end of my four pound hammer, cover it with a rag, and I'll just go clockwise, pressing the stationary into place until it completely seats in the bottom. After this is done, we'll want to go back and re-clean our faces. It's important that you really take your time and make sure that there's no grease or oil 
left on the face of the seal. Okay. Now that we have the seal clean and stationary press into place, we'll continue on with our packing. Lay our stuffing box back on its face. We'll get our packing out of the container. And now it's important when you put your packing in, this is just a backup. This is just for if your mechanical seal goes out, this is to get you through the job. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we offset the start and the finish from each line of packing. So the first one I'm going to take, and I'm going to go in at 12 o'clock, push it to the bottom. I'm going to take my next piece, and I'm going to go in at 6 o'clock, complete opposite of where I went in with the first piece. Your packing will come in a pack of three. We're only going to put two in it. The other one's kind of as an extra. You can press it in there if you need to. We're not going to today. We'll add our packing gland back to the front. Now these are only going to be finger tight. This is just as a backup. If your seal goes out, you'll go back with the wrench and tighten these down as needed to get through the job. We're just going to bump them down to where they were. Okay, now we're ready to put our stuffing box back in our pump. On your used units, you're going to want to make sure you take an emery cloth and a rag. You'll buff this back down, help it go in a little easier. I'm going to add a little bit of grease. Hopefully keep it from seizing for the next time we have to do this. It's easy to come out. Just go all the way around. Now we're ready to go back into the pop with it. You'll press it in until the stuffing box touches back flush with your power in. We're going to take our three quarter inch socket, tighten it back down. Now from this point, we're going to continue on putting our new mechanical seal and our new shaft sleeve back into the pump. Notice this also comes wrapped in a clean rag. This is, again, for the faces on your mechanical seal. You want to make sure those are clean when we put them back together. We're going to add a little oil to our shaft sleeve. It helps pressing the mechanical seal on. Shiny side up. We'll get it started just like that. Come down about halfway up the shaft sleeve.
you want to make sure you check both faces before you go together with this. Your stationary that you pressed in earlier, we want to go back and still make sure that no dust or dirt or grinding grit or anything like that has gotten in there between our faces. Got a good clean spot on your rag. All right. Now you're ready to take your mechanical seal and your shaft sleeve, and you can get it started. Just like that. All right, now we're ready to go back on with our impeller. Pull our impeller over here. We're going to go ahead and clean this groove out. And we're going to put an impeller o ring here in this groove. Add a little bit of grease. Now that that's ready, we add our spring with our spring keeper on the front of the impeller. And we'll get it started. reverse thread bolt and tighten it down. The last thing we'll do is we're going to check the clearance of our impeller on our stuffing box. And what I mean by that is you want about a business card difference between the veins on your impeller and the face of your stuffing box. This one's actually right, but we're going to touch on the process of moving if it was not. If the impeller needed to be shifted further away or closer to, we would use our jack bolts in the front move the entire shaft assembly. What we would do, if you want to go away from the stuffing box, is we're going to loosen our set bolts here and here. We're going to tighten down the two outside bolts here and here. It will push the entire shaft assembly that way. If we want to come the other way, we would loosen the bolts here, and we would loosen the bolts here. We would loosen here and here to push the shaft in. We would loosen these here and tighten down on these two to pull the shaft out. That completes our mechanical seal change for today. You're now ready to put the pump back on your unit and get back to work. I hope that this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at dragon.pumps at modernusa.com, or give us a call at 
8198.